Nope. Nope timer. You're never, ever, ever gonna get to zero. Welcome to another stream this week in web development episode 22. That's crazy. We made it to episode 22. Now, haters thought, oh shit, it's 4.30 p.m. He skipped an episode this time. Oh sh wait, is the music too loud, first of all? Because I've been messing with the music. I don't want to talk while the music is too loud. Uh, welcome everyone, welcome Freefu, welcome Coin, welcome everybody. Let me know if the music is too loud, if I need to tone it down before we get into it. Or if the music is fine, we can get into it right away, however you want. I think the music should be fine, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, it's annoying when the music is too loud. Thank you for replying everybody, you're so on time with your replies, I love you. Um, anyway. No, uh, Ted Quieter. You sleep deprived brain is ready to. Th yes, yes, Steffi128. My sleep deprived brain had a little nap. The smallest nap ever. If you didn't watch the gaming string. St string. <laughs> I say words like gaming string today because I had two hours of sleep. Did I have a little lap? Lap? I also had a little lap. I didn't have a little lap. I had a little nap. But as you can see, I'm still. My speech is still slurred. And I feel fucking exhausted and every muscle in my body hurts. But you know what? I woke up in the middle of my, of my nap and I was like fucking sweaty. And I was like, you know, oh my fucking... And I was like, the haters thought he's stopping this week in web development. And I was like, the haters are celebrating right now. They're like, shit, it's 4.30. He didn't show up today. So I guess he's canceling it. He, I'm not giving up, okay? It's gonna be episode 1000. 75 when we celebrate the the whatever people not using redux anymore or whatever and i'm gonna be like well i retire everybody let's move on to this week in whatever gaming or that i don't fucking know anyway i'm super sleep deprived had a like a, a little nap i feel like garbage it's raining outside fucking finally summer is over fuck you summer that's one thing that i want to start this with fuck summer it's finally over it was raining i had a nap awesome uh, what are you up to? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching wherever you're watching YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, wherever the fuck. Please transfer to Twitch. Thank you very much. What's up? You see the links for the... Um, um, if you retweet, you get the thing. If you don't retweet, you don't get the thing. If you post the links, I might read them here, but let me first... Yeah, stream is late because I had a nap. Also, my girlfriend was finishing this uh, Back to the Future and I decided instead of doing the stream, I'm gonna watch a little bit of the movie with her because it's fucking awesome. And they're saying cliche phrases are like, where we're we going, we don't need roads. And you get chills even though you watch the movie 17 times. When they say, where we're we going, we don't need roads. You're like, oh fuck, that's so, oh fuck. Yeah, anyway, that's why the stream is late. <laughs> um... Yeah, this, somebody in the other stream, we discussed it already in the other stream, uh, I didn't post a vlog this week, I didn't post a blog this week, I didn't stream this week, I didn't do any work this week because my dog has some health issues, he's doing better now apparently, um, but we still keep him like created in a little thingy where he needs to rest, he has some issues with his back or something, so I spent a couple of days this week literally lying on the floor and chilling with my dog and... It was fucking tough, but I decided that I have to, I still have to do things, even though it's hard. Even so, so you see this fucking asshole here, um, that's one more thing that I wanted to mention. Because somebody said, somebody mentioned on one of the videos for this week in web development, somebody said, Dude, you're like so full of hate. Hey, it's for fucking fun, okay? So if you get this like thing 100% fucking seriously, you know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. You find the nearest cup, you find the nearest packet of minty you put a little bit of minty and you relax okay because we're fucking around that's what that's what's up um so anyway whatever happened to my dog completely slammed me this week and i was like a broken person but i decided hey you have to distract yourself with work and do other things so yeah let's fucking do this that's why i wasn't streaming this week um nightbot is already timing people out that's fucking awesome stop spamming caps cool um Hater for Ellie Videnta cannot pronounce your name because I have two hours of sleep. Um, hater for life. Yeah, yeah. But it's got, like, you know when you enter this fucking personality and then you cannot get out of it? I don't think that I'm gonna get out of the hater personality, even though I know there are new people who will join the stream. It's like, oh shit, this guy's serious. He hates on everything. It's a fucking jo joke. So grab some minty, chill, relax. It's all good. Um, welcome Alexander. Welcome everyone. I'm gonna get into your links. If you have sent links for today, we have only three links. So we can... We can keep it chill for today. You're not posting links. I'm not reading your links. It's all good. Smashboy says, oh wait, Smashboy is way too close to my face. So I'm going to move it. As soon as Smashboy posted, I'm like, nah, let's fucking move this to the side a little bit. 
<laughs> Fucking love trolling Smash Boy. Uh, thank you, Smash Boy. I appreciate it. Um, he f he feels better for now, but we have to go to a neurologist next Wednesday and check if if everything is fine. So we'll see. Until then, we're surviving somehow. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I, I have nothing for you. I didn't do any work to, uh, this week. They released Blitz. Brandon messaged me. They released Blitz 18 finally. So maybe that's the fucking thing that we start with. That they release. No, we're not gonna start with that. It's too early for that. Send me more links. Send me more links, and we're gonna start with shit. What else can I tell you before we actually start? I didn't. I, as I said, I was lit. I literally spent like the week just relaxing and being around my dog. So I didn't do any programming. I don't have. If if you don't tell me what's going on in web dev, I have no fucking idea. So send me links. You know the links. If you're just joining, here's the link. Post your links there. Tell me what happened in web dev this week and we're gonna discuss everything hopefully i'm not gonna reach my peak salty level but given the fact that i have two hours of sleep it will take probably two links so i reach maximum salt today um i have a movie recommendation for you and i found out the best tarantino movie and people in the chat are already like sitting up they're like oh shit the best tarantino movie what is he gonna say is it um pulp fiction or is it django or is it kill bill one or i think kill bill two fuck all of that okay I found out and I watched the best Tarantino movie ever made. And it's not the one that you think it is. And you need to watch it. Drop this stream right fucking now. Drop this stream right now and be like, ah, oh, fuck that guy. Fuck web development. It's Saturday. I want to chill. Of course, somebody messaged me. As soon as I start the stream, people are like, hey, we're watching. <laughs> um, that's not the message. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah. Watch the movie Jackie Brown. So it's a uh, best the best performance from Samuel L. Jackson. He says motherfucker so many times and it's fucking so good. He's terrifying and also hilarious and the movie is fucking awesome. So go watch Jackie Brown and then let's talk about Tarantino movie. And then you can be the hipster in the group when people are talking about Tarantino movies. You can be like, ah, Pulp Fiction, I don't know. Have you seen Jackie Brown? You can be that fucking asshole. Um, damn, two hours now. Can I buy you a coffee? Yeah, Mr. Thoughts for, for Cat cannot even read your name because you're too far away. You can buy me coffee by subscribing and donating bits and whatever the fuck to the channel. And basically, with the bits money, I'll go and grab myself some coffee. Uh, anyway, let's get into these links, huh? Deca Den Ipsum says, amazing movie. Thank you, Deca Den Ipsum. Um, it really is. I, did, I, I bought all of... The, as soon as I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I bought all Tarantino's movies, like all of them on Blu-ray. I wanted to have the collection and I watched everything. And I was looking through the shelf and I was like, oh, what is this bullshit, Jackie Brown? Oh, let's watch it. And I was like, holy shit, the movie's so good. Anyway, that's what I have to tell you this week. I literally don't know anything else that happened. I was gaming, watching movies, chilling with a dog. So let's see, what do you have for me? Uh, there's the first thing. We we're already getting weird. Uh, oh, let's, let's start with the Blitz thing. Huh? Let's start with the goddamn Blitz thing. The chat refresh, that's annoying. The chat shouldn't refresh. Uh, I'm gonna make it so your chat stays, okay? So refresh browser cache when ba ba ba. Okay, cool. Thank you for following Blackweed PW, I appreciate you. So they released the new version of Blitz, version 18. This one is the one that comes with authentication out of the box. Way too many emojis in the fucking. Um, if I fall asleep on stream, don't mind me, okay? <sighs> Sleep more, kids. This is a lesson for you. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a truck hit you, and then a truck went a little bit back, and then a truck hit you again, and then it went a little bit back, and then it hit you for the third time, and then the driver was like, you know what? Let's hit him one more time, if you don't get enough sleep. Thank you for... Oh, somebody cheered. Thank you. This for Oh, so you got me a coffee. That's so sweet. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so this is the version, um, ha, I fucking ha hate coming up with emojis when announcing shit. I'm also doing it sometimes, writing sissy tweets or whatever, and I fucking hate it. Writing squirrels and cakes and bugs and whatever. And also Windows emoji, eh, like, at least go back to this, okay? Hey, Windows, if your emoji is gonna look like shit, at least go back and, and bring back this emoji, alright? Because this looks like fucking garbage. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is... Uh, Blitz now has sign up and I already made a list of apps that I'm going to build with Blitz um, And I'm gonna do them on stream. So I guess you should follow this channel If you're watching on Twitch if you're watching on YouTube and Periscope don't follow anything move to Twitch We're gonna build a bunch of apps with Blitz. So I'm excited for that. What was the first link that somebody sent me plasma umas w demo w jvm, huh? A Java virtual machine written in 100% JavaScript Click the button to start a demo. Immediately preload 40 megabyte file Java class library. Well, let's fucking do it. Well, why the fuck not? Let's load Java. 
load a zip file. That's awesome. Three emojis shared. Awesome. That's that's for cat. Cannot read your name. Um, Freefu says, do the CZ shout out. What kind of CZ shout out? I don't know if it's if you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Dopio GVM demo comes back with a number of. Um, cool. Awesome. Let's move on to the next link because this link <laughs> mentions Java. And hey Google, what year is it? Did you let the, uh, this fucking bitch knows? Stop listening. Because I've been unplugging Google every time it fucks up. I've been unplugging it and I asked it, what year is it? And it said, I get upset every time you disconnect, which means as soon as this thing go to my kitchen, one day they're going to go to the kitchen somehow because it's AI bots. They're going to talk to each other. They're going to talk to the Roomba. The Roomba's going to pick it up, go to the kitchen, grab a knife. Guess who goes out of this world first? Me, because I've been unplugging this Google. Hey, Google. Can you tell me, please, what year is it? Okay, but first it warned me. Thank you very much, Google. Appreciate your hard work. So getting. Oh, so so it said it's 2020. Then why we're discussing Java? I thought it was 1973 for a second. I was like, Jesus Christ, did I sleep backwards? Are we in 1973? Because we're discussing Java. And that word shouldn't exist because it's 2020. Um, let me move on to the next thing. There's a fucking tweet. Of course, there's a tweet. Um, we didn't catch that. It was quiet. Goes to disconnect. I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Go if you didn't catch what Google said, Google said... Um, Google said something. I don't know. Fucking Google said. It's just rambling. I'm gonna, so I'm going to unplug it. I don't give a fuck if it stabs me. Uh, tweet media is not loading for me for some reason. So don't don't even try. Cool. This is the probably the best landing page in the world. Because it's from this guy. Mangto. He, he's doing some crazy designs. Of course, someone has a YouTube link. Not fucking clicking on YouTube links. But where's the Pornhub link? I, I mean, come on. Always. Every fucking time. Someone posts the link. is like, <laughs> he's going to click on it. And I'm going to trick him. And I'm going to fool him. Because it's porn. And it's naked ladies. And he's going to embarrass himself in front of the stream. <laughs> hey, person who's submitting those links. Um, are you getting a lot of naps? I mean, at the kindergarten. Do you have a lot of... Oh, you're not in kindergarten? Then don't do that, fucking idiot. CSS variables. This is the next link. Duplication is annoying. I have color brown set. It's defined. Um, okay. That's awesome. Um, I have w low attention span to learn from this kind of images, but that's that's good. Like I'm looking at this image and I just see blocks and I'm like, okay, um, I don't know what that's called. It's called something, but I cannot learn from that kind of images. Um, I'm, I promised you that I'm going to post the link to my YouTube channel, but I'm going to stop promising that you're never, ever going to see the links. Did I open the tweet again? Yes. So I fucking opened the tweet again. Um, these links are basically uh, until I make the website for until I make the website, somebody posted an entire blog post. Look, I cannot fucking read an entire blog post. Tell me what's new in, in web development. I cannot read your blog post in front of everyone, okay? Acoustic Garage, what is this? This seems interesting. Uh, anyway, until I do the website for this week in web development, we're not gonna see the fucking um, links. Because I have to manually get them from the Google Forms and then post them. What is this? Mother of fuck, that looks gorgeous. Are you shitting me that I'm driving this car made of lights? How come that when I'm doing like three rectangles and it's not performant and everything is crashing, like if you go to the light, scow li light scouse, if you go to the lighthouse score for this, let's do this in parallel. If we go to the lighthouse score for this garbage that I made, we're gonna get a report that says score 20 and basically, uh, do you know what's my lighthouse scores for CZ? My lighthouse score for CZ is, if I run this test, Adios Manny in person is gonna enter my room and just slap me and then leave. That should be my score for the page. It's not 1 to 100. It's minus 7, and when you get minus 7, Adios Manny personally walks into your room and just slaps you a little bit, and then he leaves. That's the score that I get. How come that I get that, and some people do this? Are you shitting me with this? That's it. Well, I quit. Thank you very much for watching. Somebody made this on the web, and all of us, the rest of us, should quit. Whatever else you send me, it doesn't matter, okay? That's the end of the stream. What else could you send me? Did you reinvent your blog? Did you find a new way to pass a CSS variable? What the fuck did you... Is this Flash? What is this, Canvas? Everything should be Canvas. This, this should be the web. This is what I'm talking about. This should be the new web. 
that's it. Why didn't we figure, can anyone smarter than me give me a good enough reason? Sorry that I'm ignoring the chat, by the way, it's too far away and I cannot read you. Thank you for, for following unconscious just yes, here. Yes, I appreciate you. Uh, what did I want to say? Can someone smarter than me explain why is not everything canvas on the web? Except maybe accessibility, but I guess also accessibility could be handled. But explain to me why not every web app is this. Why is this UI joystick? Well, why is this not part of the canvas for fuck's sake? I don't know, but fuck this. This makes me sad. This is not sweat. My forehead started crying. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake, man. Flutter web juice kind of try clicking on the buttons. Which buttons? Oh, fuck me sideways. Oh my fucking God. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? This is too good. Holy shit. And going back to my thing that I've built. Yellow. I, I got yellow scores. Okay. When it's in the red category, that's when Adios money comes and, and, and at, at yellow, he comes and warns you. And he's like, look. We need to talk about this. But I, I'm not clicking any more links. That's it for the day, people. There's nothing that you can send. Nothing that that's going to look better than this. There's also one more fucking crazy things like this. Uh, crazy things like this. Okay, cannot even words today. Cannot even English today. It's all good. Um, if you haven't watched this show, you need to watch it. But there was this dark show portal or something made from netflix dark no not fandom fuck this the official guide and this is also made with that that's great if you haven't watched the show why are you watching this stream first of all that's the the question look at this ah uh -huh. it's interactive and of course they have to mention the cookies aren't we over this can we stop mentioning the cookies look at this how about this how about this? So you're sad. Whatever you're building on for the rest of the week, it's gonna look like garbage compared to this, okay? Whatever you think you're building and it seems cool and I'm like, oh, and I reinvented my blog for the seventh time. It's not even gonna come close to this, okay? Not even close. Look at this shit. I mean, are you shitting me? How, how good is this? How, how do I scroll? Look at this. Holy fuck on a stick on a brick. This is an app on the web. And what are we doing? This is what we are doing. But it has an animation. If you scroll, look, some of the things animate. Fucking idiotic. It's pissing me off. Um, Canvas is awesome. It's a replacement for Flash. We need to make the web less boring. Eli Levilladente, you're fucking right. We need to do that. Uh, let's, let's move on. Thank you, whoever sent that. You know the right links to send. Send me more futuristic stuff, okay? Don't send me stuff like Redux is still a thing. Or something reinvented with CSS or whatever. Style stage that dev. Modern CSS showcase style by community contributors. Um, what is this? I'm not sure if it looks... It looks borderline bad and good at the same time. I'm not sure. You scroll a section it's like, hmm, that looks good. And that looks bad at the same time. I guess that's good design. I have no idea what is this, but... Thank you for following Hubria, bro. I cannot read your name because the screen I made the screen too tiny. So sorry, I cannot read your name. I'm an idiot. And you're already gone. We should all just retire, said Zik X. And Zik X is goddamn right. We should all retire. We should all fucking retire. That's true. It's basically the new CSS Zen Garden. Okay, cool. Then I need to close it because I couldn't give a shit about CSS Zen Garden. Um, hey, kids, didn't you use CSS Zen Garden to learn things? Yes, I did. But also, I don't need it now. So... Don't don't get any advice from this stream. That's what I'm saying, basically. Uh, let's move on. Oh, I wish these links would make the light of day. I'll try to. Oh my God! Somebody submitted this tweet three times. What are you doing? Don't give me the same fucking tweet three times. It's annoying. This is a breaking release. Next MDX remote. Uh, this is an important thing, and I'm gonna do something with it in one of my next streams, hopefully, uh, this week. Falling asleep in the middle of the stream. Wake up, kids! Wake up! You have more links to to go through. This is a breaking release, it requires manual changes, um, just like everything in web development, don't say this, that's a given, it's fine. Um, this is awesome and it lets you like fetch MDX from, um, from a CMS where you basically your blog content should live. Your blog content should live in a content management system. I've been over this. Don't store it in a fucking GitHub issue. Don't store it in, I don't know where the fuck you store it, store it in a CMS. Anyway, this is a cool library, I'm gonna explore it uh, in one of my streams and I'm gonna use it for... Um, Fetching MDX for my blog. Back to this side. This side makes me sad. Am I going to cry after the stream? Yeah, I'm going to click all of these menus. And after the stream, I'm going to fucking cry. Because this is a drivable car made out of lights. 
radiating things around it and you can control the camera while driving the car. And meanwhile, in the land of web development, like traditional web development, we have this garbage where I have a live cow score of 53 and it's all good. Let me close this just not to embarrass myself. Uh, what else do we have? What else have you sent me? You've sent me 16 responses. You're not bad for today. Uh, what? Jesus Christ, what the fuck are these links? Okay, I guess someone figured out. Yeah, I guess someone, yeah, someone figured out the Google form and now people started spamming all sorts of shit. So, but what you don't know is I might as well stop reading the links and I might as well literally spend the next, how many minutes do we have? 35 minutes just driving the, this car with lights. <laughs> That's what you don't fucking get. You don't control the stream. Only Google controls the stream because Google one day is getting a knife and it's ending my life. So that rhymed. But anyway, I can do... You don't think that I can do this for the next 35 minutes? You're out of your mind if you think that. Because I can do that. Uh, fuck, it looks so smooth. I want to see how smooth it is in Japanese. Of course, it, it, it's, it's in Japanese and it makes it even more futuristic. If this site was in Japanese by default, you would have thought it's, it's, it's something like, I don't know. You would look at it and you're like, fuck, I could never write this, right? But now when we saw it in English, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess sometimes in my life I might do something with canvas. This is futuristic as fuck and it's pissing me off. I just can't. Look at this. Holy shit, man. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck. You ruined the stream. Whoever sent this, you ruined the stream. You're a ruiner of streams. Uh, no links in the chat, by the way. Just go uh, look. Um, Google things. Okay. The Twitter links for Caesar retweet seems to be broken. Yes, that's awesome. Always fucking shit up. Always fucking shit up. Um, what is the link for fuck's sake? Why did I not check the link? I see there are only two retweets, but I'm gonna put the link here. There's the link. Boom. There's the link. There you go. I'm gonna fix it in a night bot because you're not sending me links, so I might as well play it with the bot. Anyway, where's that link? S retweet, tweet. Fuck's sake, how did I broke the goddamn link for god fucking sake? Okay. 409 at the end? Yeah, god, I hate everything. Okay, cool. Now it should be fine. Let's see. Uh, retweet, tweet. There we go. Now you can retweet it. And in 30 minutes, we're going to pick one winner. And you can go home happy and have a lifetime license for CZ. Because that's the best thing you could get out of the stream. Everything else, just, it's, nah. Don't have your hopes high. Because so far, fucking disaster. Right, R3F particles. I think someone, uh, like, we're seeing this for the third episode in a row. We're going to see this fucking, oh no, this is something else. Fuck this. Fuck whoever sent this, okay? Why Why do you want to make me sad? Because you're sending this shit to make me sad, right? There's no other explanation. Why would you send me something that would end up in Interstellar and it works on the web? Fuck. Makes me sad. Plain buffer geometry mesh standard material. Let me try to modify this code because I'm a fucking mathematician, right? Let me try to modify it. Already, but I changed... <laughs> I delete one zero and it th th that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I change one zero. I fuck up the entire demo. You're not sending me links. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you for not sending me links. There's Freefo. Freefo saying, which means Freefo wants to take a little time out, maybe. Um, or he fell asleep on his keyboard. That's also possible. Jackie Script is the ruiner of all streams. Thank you, Jackie Scripts, for sending me these links. Send me more links like this so I can be even sadder. Uh, let's see what happened. Like, oh, fuck that, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this link open with your links. And I'm going to just browse. Um, look, let me talk about something. J just, just a second. I, I promise you this is going to be a second. What did I want to talk about? I just wrote it here. Stop optimizing for what others are optimizing for. Yeah, this is... So so, like, this week, when I've been so, like, down and sad and everything has been a fucking mess and nothing made sense because my dog didn't feel fine. And when my dog doesn't feel fine, I feel like a fucking... When something is not right with my dog, with my family, whatever, I feel like like a fucking turd. I feel horrible. I cannot just... At, anyway. But then you start putting things in perspective and you're like, this matters, this doesn't matter. And you realize that most of the things we do fucking... Especially, like, I'm gonna put, like, concentrate on, like, web developers and the things that web developers do. I just... Uh, maybe it's gonna help someone. Because I see so many people lately on Twitter um, trying, trying to make it. And... You don't know what make it means. And sometimes I fall into this trap of thinking that I know what making it means. 
And that's very specific and individual for everyone. And I'm realizing it more and more that for me, making it means a completely different thing. And the, and the things that I wanted to achieve are not, um, are not relevant anymore. And I actually, like when I, when I think about it deep down, I don't want to achieve them, but I want to have them just because others have them. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I've been seeing this pattern in the web dev community where people want to get to like, um, hot tips and tutorials and things and this like that uh, to get to um whatever you call that status level a number of followers whatever the fuck and actually you might not want that but you're doing it and you're like into this trap of doing the grind or whatever the fuck to get to that level because others are there and then you're planning oh but maybe one day um if i do that like it's a very abstract goal and if you don't define it one day you might chase it and maybe get disappointed that you didn't reach it or reach it and be like oh fuck this was not the goal that i was looking for i love them that the music switched to sad music that i'm talking about this but i'm serious like sometimes i fall into the trap of thinking like this like i see somebody's number of followers or somebody's achievement or something that i really didn't want actually and for a second like your brain thinks like oh shit, it would have been so awesome and if you don't snap back and be like hey you don't want that then you're going to live a very, very, I don't know, sad and disorganized life. And you're going to waste most of your time for just like trying to get things that other people have and you don't want them like followers. And you're like, oh, if I post hot tips about how, how to add three numbers with JavaScript, maybe one day I'm also going to have 7000 followers. And maybe one day to those followers, I'm going to send a, a sell a book or whatever. If you want to, maybe you don't want to write a fucking book. Maybe you don't want to do a fucking course. Maybe you don't want to, like, just think about what you really want if you want to get out of that fucking grind. Because, yeah, as as much as I've been out of this mindset, sometimes I'm go falling back into it and I'm like, oh, it would have been so awesome if on you, you see someone on YouTube and you're like, oh, God damn it, how could this person and that person? And if I don't remind myself, hey, you don't want exactly that. You want other things and you have other priorities and you structure your life in a different way. So you only want the end goal of that what that person has, uh, but maybe you don't even want the end goal. So you're gonna go through the entire process just because you want the end goal, and then you're gonna be disappointed and be like, oh shit, I didn't want that. I'm talking about specifically people who are grinding, and I'm noticing there's people grinding on Twitter with sketches and hot tips and this and that just to get to followers, and maybe you don't want fucking followers, that's the thing. If you think about it, like if you think about why, why and then go go deep why and i want them because of this why and i want them because of uh, why and if you go like 17 levels of why and you're like oh shit i didn't want that and then you snap back and instead of spending 70 hours of twitter grinding and trying to get followers and whatever thank you for the follow by the way um your name is behind the logo because i'm a fucking dumbass where should the name be overlays where wait a second yeah put you on top um there goes my thought actually Thank you for following Jonathan, appreciate you. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if you get what I'm... Um... Zikik says, uh, the happiest people are the one living modest lives. It's not about modest, it's about knowing exactly what you want, you know? When you go to do something, to achieve something, you're like 100% sure, oh, this is what I want. Because sometimes I get like envious, I get jealous, I get anxious, I get nervous, I get like... Uh, I only if and, and if I don't snap back and if I'm like you don't want that then you feel like super anxious and instead of like Chilling and gaming your brain is constantly obsessed like how to get somewhere where you don't want to get that's the conclusion That's the fucking thing that I want to um, That's the sentence which I already forgot because I'm sleep deprived I said it and I felt like fucking Michael Scott losing sentence midway and it just that's it the, sen <laughs> the sentence fucking gone but don't chase the thing that you don't want to get basically just because other people have like maybe watch my stream or whatever and you're like oh dude it would be so awesome to get to i don't know uh, that many followers or that many people watch me on twitch whatever maybe you don't want that and also you're just seeing the end result you don't know how fucking um annoying and tiring the entire process is of doing this like every day or every week and setting up and all the setup and all the bullshit and if you go through all of that and you don't enjoy it and you don't want it and you don't know why you're doing it maybe at the end you'll be disappointed and you you'll be wasting so much time let me see what you're saying um what WTARR says bro the twitter drama ngl is weird i'm telling you that twitter drama life i see it and it's like you really need to evaluate whether you want to be entangled in that entire world and mess because i've been uh, i stopped reading twitter except the links that you send me literally since may and it's what september right now i'm not missing out on shit 
I wrote an article about this. I'm following the libraries that I need to follow on GitHub. The anxiety is going away. The nervousness of, oh my God, what did that person say is going away slowly. All, all I got is this show where you send me a bunch of links. But even if I don't have this and you don't send me links, I feel that I reached the point where I'm going to be fine. And so many people haven't. Like when you get so deep into Twitter, it's like completely fucking you up. And of course you're playing along. You're playing along. Your brain is trying to think of a funny thing, offensive thing, this kind of thing, because you want likes, you want engagement, you want followers. And at the end of the day, maybe you don't want that. You just want, I don't know, to... to to chill, to game, to hang out with your friends. You make enough money, you make in, but it's way too easy for social media to trick you that you want something. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're in this mindset, because I was in this mindset, especially in this web development, growing your clout and growing your followers mood. I, yeah, maybe what I'm saying is gonna help you. Because I think that's fucking um, important. Let me see what else are you saying. You don't have to have a model. Uh, yeah, I love what Usually High says. If you want nice cars and a lot of money, that's completely fine, but you need to reevaluate if you really want nice cars and subscribers and followers and a lot of money. You have to re evaluate whether I really want this or I want it because other people have it. There's nothing wrong. I hate when people are like, ew, money, I don't like it. Fuck you. you. Everyone needs money, okay? So don't be like, oh, I don't like that and fuck people who... D don't say that. It's completely fine to want it. It's not fine to want it because others have it. When you see something that others have and you're like, oh, I have to get to that number of followers. When you get to that number of followers, get, guess what happens? That was the tiniest fart. When you get to that number of followers, that exact num number that you're thinking of, when you get to that number, because everyone has, right? Uh, oh, if, if, when I get to that, guess what happens? That's it. The world's tiniest fart happens and nothing, nothing else. Um, Jonathan says, we want hot tips on adding three numbers in JavaScript. <laughs> Yeah, everyone has hot tips right now, and I just feel, yeah. Um, I struggle a lot at that, and I get anxious about it right away. Yeah, Daniel says that. Um, try try to do a, a little bit time off Twitter and all off of this news and Reddit and news about web development. And it's hard, it's really hard. I wrote at least two articles about me struggling with this, and it's not easy. But when you get out of it, I cannot even tell you how fucking relaxed do you feel when you're not in this fucking fictional race. It's a fictional race for clout. Um, I've been writing this new article about this. I don't know how to title it. I'm st still moving chapters around and I don't know how to express myself, but it's like a race that doesn't exist. And somehow it's a race that people are racing in this race for clout, followers, tips, hot tips, wh wh whatever the fuck. That's not a, a real thing. And so many people are caught up in it. It's, I, I don't fucking know. Um, Prefu says, what about people that post hot tips sketches because they want to educate people and not for the cloud? There are people who do that. And uh, I know it's, it's maybe it's going to sound like, oh, yeah, of course you're going to say that, kids. But anytime I did um, post whatever, an educational blog post or, 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 or whatever, I'm, I would be a fucking liar and a hypocrite if I didn't tell you that... Um, let's say 30% of the reasoning would be to get somewhere, to get some audience, to get something. But the bigger drive was to, yeah, to help people. And I think that I have that, whatever you call it, where I'll be constantly obsessed with helping people, whether that's for free or for money or depending on the structure of the thing. If you need more people working on the thing, you need employees, you need money to pay them well, and, and so on. But I have that like it's not an issue. It's not a problem. It's uh, I'll be stuck in that, just trying to solve problems, solve problems, solve, solve problems. But what? Of course, you're thinking if I solve this and help people, and it's also gonna help me get that. But if you go 100% only for getting the followers and the cloud, that's when it's wrong. If you sit down making tips on whatever just with one clear goal, and that goal is something fictional, like, ooh, if I post that, I'll get money. If I post that, I'll get followers, then it's not organic. And I've never been like that, and I couldn't work like it. Trust me, if I wanted to focus on, on whatever, on monetizing content or whatever, do you think I'll be doing a fucking free uh, thing with... Uh, 
how many viewers I have here, 50 on Twitch, and I don't know how many on the other thing. That's not the way. There are way many other ways, but I'm like, this is what makes me happy. This is interesting to me. It's interesting to other people. I want to do it. I wouldn't be fucking wasting time on editing a vlog for five hours or eight hours per week, posting it, getting 300 to 500 views because I'm expecting something fucking magical to happen. I'm posting the vlog and I'm editing the vlog because I love it. I love the process. I love editing video. I love sharing my story with people. And that's it. If I did that, if I did the vlog, for example, I have the vlog for one year already. If I did the vlog with the goal to, ooh, and one day I would get to this, to that, I would have quit by now because I would have been disappointed. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't achieve any of that. So the goal that you have must must be authentic. If you want to share hot tips on whatever, if you really want to do it, then the followers, the other things that, that comes along with it, if you really want to do open source and whatever, that's just a side thing, you know? That's just an extra thing that comes with it. And you're doing it for other reasons. And I think that's how it happened with me and... Um, it, with me and money, basically. It's, I just wanted to solve the problem that bad and I always put money as a second thing and I'm like, yeah, money is gonna come in one day or, or one way or another. Let me just focus on really wanting to solve the problem because otherwise you're gonna burn out. If you do it, I, I had so many people reach out, hey man, I saw this like meetup thing that di died. I'm gonna sit down and make a meetup clone to make money. If you put that as your goal, you're burning out in three days and you're never gonna reach it. Um, this week in web dev turned into therapy real quick, says so usually hi. That's true because you're not sending me fucking links. I went to all of the links. There are like four links left. So, and this is an important topic. So I guess. Uh, Vutter says, I have a Reddit and GitHub, not social media. And I still have the other social medias just to follow any competitions or events. That's cool. Social media is fine. If you know how to use it, it's fine. But most people are struggling and don't know how to use it. Um... You haven't gone through the links, kids. I sent some nice sites. Um, fuck me, where's the towel? Where's the fucking towel? Because it's 30 degrees again in this room. It doesn't matter that it's raining outside. This room is, look at my shiny forehead. That's like my future, because my future is too goddamn fucking bright. Also my forehead, that's a t tired joke. People posted it in 2003 once for one guy who had a shiny forehead and I'm mentioning it now. So basically it, it means stop watching this stream. Um, how do you post new blog posts on Twitter? I just post them. Do you know Rudix world says do you post new blog posts on Twitter? Yeah, I do That's basically the use case for my Twitter right now. Just reposting other forms Longer forms of hey, let me get a towel. Okay. Give me a fucking minute cuz I'll, I'll I cannot talk like this Just literally a minute. I'll be right back God, I'm dying for sleep. Um, Rudix asked me, do you post new blog posts on Twitter? That's the use case for my Twitter right now. It's just posting, uh, posting links to other things that I do. Because I realized that um, when I was tweeting my thoughts about everything, I wasn't doing any long form content. So I wasn't doing any blogs. I wasn't doing any longer forms or what of whatever. And Twitter trains you basically to share short, Sh Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. I don't give a shit. It's gonna stab me one day. I don't give a shit. It talked in the middle of my sentence and now I forgot my sentence. Have to unplug it. Goddamn stupid fucker. There's a reminder. Um, anyway, um, I think overall, with the times we live in with instant gratification, Netflix, YouTube, Twitter, likes, blah, blah, whatever. You need to train your brain to do long form content, to have patience and all of that shit. Otherwise, you're just going to post tweets and memes and funny things and you're going to chase that like. You're going to chase that next follower with no fucking goal and you're going to get in that bad cycle. So I've been trying not to do that and actually do vlogs that takes like six to eight hours to edit or blog posts that take like more than three hours to write and then just share them. Uh, on social media and that I think that works put the towel in your face he in invisible towel <laughs> I just noticed that holy shit yeah cloak of invisibility well <laughs> dude that's fucking <laughs> when someone mentions redux I'll just disappear I'll be like oh it's 2020 and you mentioned redux bye 
That's it. See ya! <laughs> I'm keeping this towel. That was a good idea. Not intentional, by the way. Uh, let's fucking move on with the link. Somebody sent 3JS.org. Like, I don't know what is fucking 3JS. Thank you for that. Somebody said a Vimeo link. We're not going to open that. Somebody says a New York Times article. So that's something that might be interesting. So you decided to, to fucking destroy me with these links today, huh? Reconstructing journalistic scenes in 3D. Huh? What is this? <sighs> that moved. Just a second. Am I imagining things? Uh, CMCA bo boy asks me, what do I use instead of Redux? Anything. If you use fucking this towel instead of Redux, it would be better than that. Try Mobex. Um, well, that's insane. Whatever happened there? Oh, are you shitting me? I'm out. See ya! Dude, this thing... Have you noticed this fucking article? Let me do this again, in case you haven't noticed. As you're scrolling this thing, we're entering a room. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody, are you even here? Are you watching this shit? When I'm scrolling this article, I'm either so sleep deprived that I started fucking tripping, and this is a dream, and I'm dreaming this, or, as I'm scrolling this article, we're entering a 3D world. No, I'm fucking tripping. That's it. That's why I'm, f I'm fucking invisible on stream. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yo, are you f Whoever sent this link, God bless. Fuck. Oh, fuck off. That's fucking crazy. Whoever did this, it's it's insane, man. That's how the web should look like in 2020, I'm telling you. The web in 2020 should should be this thing. It's crazy. Stop re let's stop reinventing the fucking blog. Let's stop well actually this is reinventing the blog. New York Times is reinventing the blog. But here's the difference. New York Times is reinventing the concept of an article by putting a fucking 3D world in it. You're reinventing the concept of a blog. Instead of writing it in Gatsby, you decided to use Eleventy or fucking the other thing, but at the end of the day you're still shipping rectangles. And you're bragging about it on Twitter that you ship rectangles in a different way. Meanwhile, people are driving cars in 3D on the fucking web. And that's sad. Uh, yeah. It's me, the destroyer of streams. Jackie Script, I'm making you, um, what, well, I don't know what, what can I make you. I'll make you, I'm gonna make you a, a VIP. And I'm gonna remove you as a VIP in some of the future streams. But now, you're a VIP. You're a VIP of this channel. Congratulations, Jackie Script. That's the web and not two rectangles next to each other. Yeah, it's crazy. This links look suspicious. I don't know who sends all of these links. I, I think it's the destroyer of stream. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh come on. Who sent this? Jackie, is that you? Kids, I mark my worlds. I'll impress you with a 3D side one day. Don't, Prefu. Don't. Tap screen to begin. Um, okay. Oh, are you fucking sh Oh, fuck. There's a dry. Hey, am I fucking tripping? Because there's a driving car in my browser. Hey everybody, hey everybody reinventing rectangles and arguing about which framework takes more kilobytes and that you're saving a couple of things with using Svelte instead of React or whatever. Hey people, are you seeing this shit? There's a driving car! The fuck? Scroll zoom. Oh fucking hell. That's it, I fucking quit. So that's the theme of this episode, huh? Kids get sad because you say, send me fucking crazy things. What is this? I should trust you more with the link. So far, the links have been awesome. Dude, I can't. Um, I don't know if you believe me or not. I, I already had like three showers today. And I'm going to have one more. <sighs> Fuck this weather. Fuck this weather so much. Fuck you, Poland. You were supposed to be cold. Please be cold. I can't. It says, Silne burzje, poziom zagrożenia pomarančovi. I cannot read Polish and I live here for two years. It's great. Uh, it says... Summer is over, now it's gonna rain. Well, if it rains, why does it rain from my fucking forehead? 
Hold the space bar to continue. Aw, oh, fuck off. How are they programming these things? We're going into the void. I'm tripping. Where are we? This is interstellar on the web. Oh, for fuck's sake. Black ice. Ice solidifies. Drag and drop an image to replace the texture. So not going to do that, but cool. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, uh, hey, Aussie boy, welcome. Um, and let's go back to reality. Just for, for a second. We saw all the 3D shit, right? Cool. Let's go back. What's the image and what does the image have to do with the article? Okay. Mm um, migration strategies for TypeScript. Do you think that I'm going to read? I mean, that's great, but we should have GPT-3 doing this shit for us while we are doing, we're driving cars, drone like cars in 3D space. That's all I have to say. Um, what else have you sent me? I guess, wait, who sent these links? Who sent these links? Open world VR multiplayer online game. Active theory. There are too many links that look shady and I'm not gonna click on them. I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, this episode has been weird. Well, I guess get more sleep kids and everything's gonna be fine also. Oh my fucking God. Uh, I can't. Can't wait to leave this room, just sit on the balcony and just r let rain pour over me while I cry and my girlfriend is like, oh, are you crying? And I'm like, no, it's just the rain. And I'm secretly, I'm crying because the web is a fucking, uh, the worst place ever. And some people are making 3D drawn cars in space and some people are having lighthouse core of 30 and uh, struggle to make a responsive video and have four animations and it's all great. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be crying about that in the rain, but my girlfriend is going to think that it's just the rain and that's what I'm going to do in the next hour after the stream is done. So I guess thank you for sending those links. Oh, fuck, man. I should get, get into game development. I saw this thing from Unity called Bolt. I think it was called Bolt. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off with the, fuck off with all of that. Fuck you, YouTube. Fucking clickbait piece of Unity Bolt. I think it was called Bolt. Making games without code. Introducing Bolt. Unity new visual scripting tool. And of course, people who like writing code are... are yeah, okay. Of course, the comments are the comments are from developers. And the comments are like, um, it looks cool, but I know I'm going to keep learning C Sharp as usual. Of course, you're going to do that, Jeer Donex, because you want to feel fucking superior, right? You want to feel better than a normal person. Because in like three years, your aunt might be picking up Bolt and make a game. And you want to feel, in order to feel superior to her, you have to keep learning C Sharp, right? And you have to say sh shit like, well, I guess this UI thing is cool, but I'm going to keep doing things the old way forever. You're not going to be doing things forever. And I said this, when I retire from web development, which is going to be fucking soon, and you know that, and this show is not going to make it to episode 100, if it makes it, then I'm too late with my retirement. Um, I'm doing game development. And if I ever, I'm telling you this, if I ever make a character, 2D, 3D, whatever, that moves four steps... I'm gonna start cr burst crying in the middle of the stream because that's gonna be better than everything I did on the web for the past 10 years. Everything I fucking did and solved and whatever I did on the web for the past 10 years is not gonna be better than if I write a code for a character to move four pixels. I'm gonna lose my shit if that happens. Whether it's with C Sharp or with Bolt or whatever the fuck. The outcome, like we're spending so much time in web development and the outcome is a garbage website. This is it. Look what's here, people. A rectangle that moves and a couple of clicky things and that's it. It's not a game. It's not a 3D world. It's nothing. And the outcome in a game is a fucking world, a crazy ass world. It's insane. Yet, yet, we're still stuck on the web and we're still posting hot tips about adding three numbers. Please tag me when someone... Let's let's find a hashtag when someone is post. Let, let's have like a secret hashtag when someone posts like a hot tip that seems like an obvious thing for clout. Let's have a come on, come up with a hashtag and you can tag me or 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 let's not do any of that because fuck hashtags and fuck tagging and fuck hot tips that are about three adding three numbers together. That person is going to sell your book in one year and the book is going to be literally a read me converted into a book and it's all good. 
Um, anyway, that's crazy on keyboard, input, event, key space, action down, vector to create, re rigid body, re re uh, <laughs> grandpa kids, I cannot see, sorry for that, rigid body, 2D set, velocity self, and the character is moving, and I'm gonna lose my shit, I'm immediately gonna start crying in the middle of the stream, if I ever do something like this, I should, oh my god, it's jumping, are you shitting me? Here's a problem, I suck at math, I loved math, when I was a kid, until 4th grade, I loved math, but the shitty teachers that I had and uh, the system that I grew up with and everything else made me want to hate math. Eventually, maybe one day I'll be bored enough to learn some things. But I, I think for that's why I'm stuck on the web, because I suck at math. Um, okay, I guess that's a conclusion. I'm stuck with the web because I suck at math. Awesome. Um, active theory is sick. I send the JP. This UI scripting thing is in Unreal Engine and it's way better there. Awesome. Please stream your first steps in game dev either way. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that when I, I when literally when I retire. When I retire from when dev, when I throw in the towel like this, when I'll be like, oh, well, enjoy arguing about Redux and TypeScript for the next 30 years. See ya. I guess I'll hide behind this towel. When I throw in the towel, Starting with fucking game dev, but that's far away because I still have projects that I want to Release and ship and hopefully I, I just really hope I just really fucking hope this is the the, the, the last Your personal gaming coach not this for fuck's sake This is the last hope that I have for the web being easy and this is a definition of how easy I want the web to be blitz.js yes. and I'm gonna try this on stream and if I hit a Limitation oh my god. I'm on the fucking thing. That's awesome. Brandon put me on the fucking thing. So when you go to BlizzJS, guess who's here? Your boy. And I hate when people say your boy and I keep saying your boy. Anyone who says your boy needs to be punched. Anyway, Blitz is the last hope that I have for the web being simple and me releasing solutions to my problems. If it turns out not to be, well, I guess I'm moving to Unity and programming fucking indie games forever. I don't know. That green handkerchief is fucking cool, man. Oh, there's Virancha. There's Virancha being laid to fucking everything. Hey, ZKX. 56 minutes. I think we're throwing in the towel. Unless you send me something more interesting. Uh, let's go to that fucking disaster of a subreddit. Um, programming humor. See the first 10 memes. And we're going to pick the, the CZ winner. I shouldn't forget that. Sorry for being so tired today. As I mentioned, I had two hours of sleep. I woke up at 2 a.m. Who wakes up at 2 a.m.? People go to sleep at 2 a.m. Uh, anyway, um, let's let's do this. 10 posts, 10 unfunny posts on, on programmer humor. And uh, yeah, this section is called trying not to laugh. And I never laugh because these memes are not funny. And most programmers are trying too hard at being funny, but they're not funny. And let's see. 10 posts posted by Nazi killer underscore 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 four days ago. Let's see. Why is it like this? Me. Why isn't this working? Normal languages. You screwed up over here. Thanks. Me. Why is this working? JavaScript. Please, I'm begging JavaScript. <laughs> I tried, but the laugh is not coming out because this joke is fucking tired already. JavaScript sucks. Hey, everybody. Other languages. JavaScript. Next one. I hate this job and I hate my life. Oh, why is this happening to me? Never mind. Misspell the variable. <laughs> I tried. Meme number three. Working as a software engineer. What my boss thinks I'm doing. What my friends think I'm doing. What my mom thinks I'm doing. What I'm actually doing. Oh, because you're writing spaghetti code. <laughs> Oh, funny. Library I'm using. Please take five minutes and read the documentation. Me. This one will get me. This one will fucking get me. Because the gif is funny. Oh, almost got me, motherfucker. That was funny. Th this was fucking funny. Perfect caption. Computer versus math. Calm. Panic. I wrote a program in Python that says hello world and does literally nothing else. It consists of one line and still require help. No idea what the hell is going on. Hey, that's all right. I started the same way. I also did that, but he had to write it all in the dirt with a stick. Huh? <sighs> 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 
What? SMS? <laughs> SM somebody hey are you seeing this shit? Wait, let me zoom in a little bit. Do you see what what it says here? Hey Google, what year is it? It's a, oh, so we didn't invent time travel and people are still sending SMS, okay. A wireless application protocol is a technical standard. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Cardi B has 101 million views on a song called WAP, which you, you'll you find the acronym of that. I'm not going to explain it to you here. I found it on Genius.com and I was like, well, time to end this world. If there was a button to unplug the world literally and start from scratch, this would be the point. When Cardi B released this song, WAP, it would have been the time where God or whoever the fuck is in charge goes like, well, I guess I fucked up. Beep, unplug, just like I'm unplugging this Google Home. Plug it back in, start from scratch until you don't get Cardi B with 101 million views for fuck's sake. Um, you know what's pissing me off? F fuck it. Um, there's this video called Darkness by Eminem. And yes, Eminem is still relevant in 2020 despite haters being like, oh, you're still listening to, <laughs> that was so relevant. He still has awesome fucking lyrics. And he made this video for like gun awareness and guns in america and so on and like if you analyze the lyrics and everything that's going on and you don't listen to cardi b you will appreciate the fucking lyrics this has 49 million views or is it yeah this i cannot read numbers right now i'm tired but how the fuck cardi b with a song called wap has more views than this song for f oh fucking guess just what go read the lyrics after this stream is what i'm saying before you're like oh i mean that was so relevant in 2002 now it's all about little smoky and little blokey and little strokey they should be called little had a stroke Th that's what those rappers should be called they're like brain drops ice pumps redux typescript sand dips big drip huh what are you talking about before like yeah oh my god yeah that's so deep um all modern digital infrastructure projects are in a person in Nebraska has been thanklessly maintaining since 2003. That's funny. Well, the virus spread can reach Nirvana. Microsoft shut down Internet Explorer in August 2021. Finally, inner peace. That's kind of funny. Um. Yeah, Viran Chan, anyone who was expecting the stream with Seagun this Wednesday, I mentioned that we postponed the stream. I had an appointment with my dog and a neurologist and I have another appointment with my dog and a neurologist because he has some health issues and we postponed the stream with Sigun. Hopefully it happens in two weeks if everything's fine with my dog. This almost made me chuckle, but that's it, I guess. That's it. These memes are not funny. Uh, let's pick up the... the let's pick the CZ winner and I guess that's it. Twitter.com slash git... I'm gonna die on stream. Get more sleep, kids. That's what I'm saying. There are eight, only eight retweets. That's awesome, which means more chance for one of those eight people. By the way, you're not getting a... If you already had a license, you're not getting another one. Just so you know that. Don't try next time. Or actually, you know what? You are getting another one. You can just gift it to someone else. So, yeah. What are you gonna do with two licenses? Or maybe you need two licenses. I don't fucking know. Let's see. Draw one person. Jack is script. Jack is script. Jack is script. Uh, I think I made you an MVP or a VIP or something, something. I don't fucking know. Congratulations on. Um, <clears throat> cannot even speak anymore. On getting the lifetime license. You send an email at contact at mg.cz.co and you're going to get your free license. Jack is script. If you're still watching this, if you're not watching this well, you lost the license. Um, I guess that's it, huh? You can follow the the gaming channel because I've been I'll I will be hanging around there. What link? Link to what? Freefu link, please. Active theory portfolio, dude. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, Freefu. I'm gonna check check that out. Um, there's the gaming link. Let's see the last thing. Active theory, for fuck's sake. What is that? Active theory websites, installations, VR, AR. Let's let's see. This is the last thing that's gonna make me sad, and after this, I'm going to cry in the rain. So I guess that's it. View work. Are you sh? Oh. Oh. Yo. The. The fucking. Just for a fucking just for a fucking quick comparison, okay? Bear with me here. Bear with me here. 
Because I'm... Oh, fuck! I put the window in the other thing. Bear with me here, for God's sake. Just for a fucking comparison. Just for a fucking... Yeah. Um, yeah. New window. Yeah. I cannot manage windows in window. It's literally called windows and I suck at managing windows. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Window to the left. Window to the right. Everything's alright. Let's just fucking... Yeah. Alright. Let's compare this. This is not a portfolio, actually. Whatever this garbage is. It's here. And let's compare this. When I hover view work, the world is shaking up and it has a new background. When I hover this button, it gets a little bit darker. But I can say this was made with um, Chakra, Next.js, serverless, hosted on this, hosted on that. And I'm using this for styling and I'm using... Fuck you. That's what's up. Stop describing your fucking tech stack and let it speak for itself. Nobody gives a shit what do you build something with, okay? Oh, you used fucking... Next.js, MDX, whatever, nobody gives a shit. Until there's a palm tree appearing in the background and it's moving around your thing, I don't give a shit how did you rewrite your blog. Jesus fucking Christ, let's click on this. And the click doesn't work. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Wait, who, what is active theory, by the way? Rick and Morty? Inter this is crazy. Freefu, thank you for sending me this. I'm literally going to take my laptop, sit on the balcony and get soaked in the rain. And the rain is going to drip over my face. And I'm also going to cry. And kids say, can't you use, if you use a laptop in the rain, it, are you going to break it? Yes, I'm going to break it because I never want to write anything else on my laptop ever again. Because I saw that people write shit like this. That looks like this. Are you shitting me that something like this is running on the web? <sighs> I don't know the sound. Uh, sorry, the sounds that are coming out are completely legit this is crazy are you shitting me i can't i can't anyway thank you for sending that i appreciate you free food whoever sent that thank you for joining me on the uh and steffi says the thing is even responsive thanks god i didn't see that let's try to let's try to run it into in, in cz let's try to break cz or or <laughs> Even better idea, let's not, because I'm going outside to cry in the rain. Thank you very much for watching the stream. I really appreciate you. Come hang out on the gaming stream, because it's even more fun than this one. Uh, and yeah, I really appreciate... Uh, there goes my words. I appreciate you watching this. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you whenever I see you.